All right, guys, I'm the card collector, and today we are doing the Walmart challenge. Different, this is totally different. We're not doing the $50 Walmart challenge. I stopped at five different Walmarts throughout Alberta while I was on a road trip, and we stopped at Walmarts with population of 60,000 people, 8,000 people, 12,000 people, even some that were a million population plus. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, you're going to see what I pick up and we're just going to open it. There is no budget. I just thought whatever is cool, unique and stuff you do not see on the regular. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you subscribe. And here we go. We are going through five Walmarts to see what we pick up. All right, guys. Hope you guys have fun watching this video. Here we go. All right, guys, this is the first Walmart, and you can see there is a pile. This Walmart is stock. There's some CHL, some 2019-20 Series 1 blasters. There was four. I decided to grab two. So I'm just looking around. There is a fat pack. That's pretty cool. I decided to grab it because you never find fat packs. But I was not 100%. If I found something else, I was going to leave it. But there was piles and piles of baseball. I guess baseball does not sell in this area. You can see all the Pokemon, but Pokemon is stocked. It's crazy. My Walmart, you never is Pokemon. It's such a high demand in my area. So there's a lot of Magic and TCG gaming cards. I decided to take a stroll just to see what there was. Maybe some someone left some poke, uh, some stuff behind the Pokemon. All right, guys, let's go to the next Walmart. All right, so we went to the next Walmart, and you can see there's a pile of stuff. A lot of tops, baseball, some Magic the Gathering. Not a lot of hockey, sadly. You should have been in that section right there. There is some Clarence Parkers. Not interested in that. There is some artifacts. I am definitely not interested in that. But there was a security tag around the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, so it must have been something good. So, nothing here. Let's go on to the next Walmart. So, this is another Walmart. You can see that there is, well, the same stuff as always, but there was some sleeves. I decided to grab the sleeves. You can see there's artifacts, there's magic, there is not a lot of hockey, but this was my second last Walmart. The other one, there was too crowded to actually film in, sadly, but you can see that there was so much stuff. I just had to take a gander and film. They... Looks like they sell a lot more Magic and Pokemon than hockey. So let's go home and check out what we bought. Hope you guys enjoyed that little, well, montage of the Walmart. Some of them, they were too crowded to film. And one MJ Holdings, or one of the employees were putting out cards and I wasn't allowed to film. He said, please don't film. So I respected his privacy. But like I said in the video, we picked up a blaster box of 2019-20. I'll toss up the price on screen. After taxes with was 3351. Picked up another one. That was another 3351. Picked up a box of Parkhurst that never I only found one in my whole out of the five Walmarts, only found one that and there was only one box of Parkhurst left and that was 33 51 that was pretty crazy to find parkers because you know the lafreniere hype is real next we got a clearance of what was this four dollars and 42 cents came to five dollars and 16 cents after taxes this is pretty nice this is uh 1617 series two nine dollars and 99 cents Bought it for $10.48. So that is a pretty sweet pickup. And when MJ Holdings was unloading, I decided to, and they actually did, I had, or there was one sitting there, $14.92, $15.66 for this with taxes. The grand told $131.83. So that grand total is $131.83. I bought at five different Walmarts. Some Walmarts, I didn't even uh, bother filming. One Walmart didn't have nothing. Didn't even really have a card section. It was in the electronics behind glass. Guess not a lot of people collect cards there or they just found that it wasn't worth their time. So let's have some fun here and we're going to crack all this open. So let's start with the clearance. 
one first. So if you guys uh, like this video, hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps me out a lot. And this is 1920 Series 2. So we're looking for Macar, and probably we will not get it. But, you know, always positivity. I Hopefully we do pull something. So we got Debrinkat, Jamie Ben, Verana, Ron Hainsey, Mrazic, Bowie, Roslevic, Stroman, Vlasic. Oh, and we got a Truba Updates Blue. Butcher, Anderson, Athanasiu, Latang, Barlamov, Heiskanen, Anderson, Jimmy Howard, Jordan Stahl, Pekka Rene, Adam Henrique. So all together, not a very good box for $5. Or, yeah, $5 and whatever cents. It's a 16 cents or whatever. Alright, so next. Looks like we got a bunch of stuff. So, of course, we got a McDavid. Was that in a sleeve or no? They, I guess they just uh, give the McDavid without a sleeve. All right. Next, we got a Parkhurst. So this thing right here, it's kind of mangled because I opened it. And I chipped, but this stuff is like $9.99 and you get a pack of cards with Parkers. That's not a bad deal. I'm not going to lie. That's uh, it's pretty decent in my opinion. So we've got a Wayne Simmons, a Colin White, a Braden Point, a Sam Bennett, a Zetterberg, a Permits of Tarasenko, Maxime the Joy rookie, Bozak. So, okay. Hopefully, we do get something better out of this. That's uh, pretty brutal. Next, this is 1617 Series 2. We're looking for Marner. Nice, maybe. Oh, we did get a young gun. Oh, it's William Carrier. But we did get a young gun. So that's always good. Barry and Brett Connolly. All right. So not the best, but not the worst. Let's do let's do the box of Parkhurst. I'm actually really intrigued into this. Um, I don't know why it's so hot right now, but look at this: ten cards per pack, twelve packs per box. Absolute unbelievable. I'm not going to lie. That's uh, pretty crazy. Like there's 12 packs in this. The box feels like a brick. And this is new, so maybe that's why. Parker's, but it, of course, the 2021. The Lafreniere hype is absolutely stupid. But I can't help what people buy and what they don't buy. What is this? Very nice. So let's take a look at the new Parkers. We got a Colin Miller. That's pretty nice. Pierre Luc Dubois, now on the Jets. Silverberg, Elias Lindholm, Rasmus Dahlin, Drew Doughty, a Bark of Silver. That's pretty cool. Brett Connolly. I don't even, and I don't know if I missed a rookie. I'm just checking here. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I've not opened this before. But 10 packs. Hopefully we do get at least a rookie. We should get a rookie. It's pretty low end. And rookie. Liam Foodie rookie. There we go. And that's what a rookie looks like. Pretty cool. We got a Jeff Skinner. And a Prospects... Prominent prospects of Gabe Velarde. Cool, cool. Suter and Klingberg. All right. Next pack. Let's see what we get. Come on. All right. We've got a Josh Bailey. Anderson. A McMichael. That's not bad. I'll do a recap. A Joe Sackick Legends and a Barkov... Parkhurst, PK, oh, that's, I get it, it's a big P, okay, Benino, Wilson, David Critchie. Next, we got a Landon Skog, Brandon Hagel, played for the Red Deer Rebels for quite some time, we got a Colton Pranko Gold, that's pretty cool, from St. Albert. 
Fiala, Kraus, Cassian. My first time since the year, I actually went to a non-local hobby shop and I almost had a stroke because of their prices. Unbelievable. And I take and I always take credit because I always buy from a real like from a special like from the distributor. So I never really appreciate the prices what I actually spend to what people have to spend, and that almost had me a, gave me a stroke. We got a Nick Robertson prospects. That's pretty cool. A uh, silver of uh, Ben Bishop. So I guess the only rookies we're looking for is I wouldn't mind a last for near. Auto. I know it's like one in one in about eighty thousand, but I believe we can do it. Rudolph Balsers, Svechnikov, Mikey Anderson rookie. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Falup. I can't remember how to say his name. There you go. Silver and Adam Fox. Encore. Encore. Okay. So shiny. Okay. So we still have a few more packs left. Hopefully we do. I like Parkhurst. Price is all right for what you get. Too bad there's no like resale value in this. Vander Kane, All Star, Patrick Kane, Phil Broberg. That's pretty cool. A very miscut. Oh, there he is, Alexis Lafreniere. But I was saying how miscut that Corey or Cam Fowler is. Look at the top to bottom. There he is. There's Lafreniere. That's pretty cool. Probably a $20, $30 card. Just how Lafreniere prices are going. Next. Maybe I'm even overvaluing it for $20, $30. Bucks. I don't know. Legends. We got a Wayne Gretzky. That's pretty nice. A Kemp. And a Dylan Larkin Parkers with the P. Cool, cool stuff. So 10 packs. Feeling good so far. There's Bobby Hall and David Backus. Henrique. Uh, that pack kind of sucked. All right. So we get a Lafreniere out of this. Probably not worth uh, quite a lot, but hopefully maybe it will pay off some of the box. Hughes, Pasternak, Morgan Geeky rookie, Solani Legends, and an. Hey, there you go. Guy collect Alexander Alexiev. Seen him play for Red Deer. Pretty good guy, pretty good defenseman, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully him and Ovechkin, I guess, talk before the draft. That's why he went first or first round. I don't know if he's going to be playing in the NHL anytime soon. I know he's playing in, I believe, the KHL or something. Uh, Dylan Coughlin, good old BC. Drew McGinley, Kel McCarr, Encore, Encore, whatever. There you go. We're just going to skim through these. Last pack. Let's make get this last pack that's worth it. Hiskinen, Rask, Louis Erickson, Kako, Hextall Legends, Svechnikov. Wow, that was uh, something. That was impressive. Never opened that before. So now, let's go a box of... Fifth or blah, 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 1920 series one in Edmonton. People are selling these boxes for 100 bucks a box, which is absolutely crazy. And our young, jumbo young gun is an Adam Fox. I always forgot about those jumbo young guns, kind of a uh, but there you go eight cards per pack, six packs per box. Looking for the Hughes, the car canvas, the Hughes young gun. Wouldn't mind a Quinn Hughes Young Gun. <laughs> okay, there's a uh, Jack Hughes. Uh, we may just toss that into a sleeve. You know, I, I wanted Quinn, but you know, Jack is perfectly fine with me. There you go. First pack in. There's a Jack Hughes. So, how is go or how his card is going up? May just uh, well brought back some money. So this break hasn't been actually that bad so far. Not gonna lie. Pekka Rene, Canvas, Dry Saddle, Backland, then all horizontal cards. All right, we got Suter, whoa, Alexander Ovechkin, Shooting Stars. Oh, that pack 
did not want to open. So it's a good pack. That's a base pack, 100%. All right. I don't really want to spend a lot of time. You guys have probably seen this opened, oh, who knows how long, many times. I've seen, I've seen this open hundreds. I even opened boxes of this. Unless we pull, that'd be awesome. We pull a Quinn Hughes. I wouldn't mind a very nice go with their jack that we just pulled. And Pierre-Luc Dubois. We only pulled, okay, I guess we only pulled one young gun in that. I guess that's all you get in this. All right. Next box. Let's see what we get here. Ha, there you go. There's a Quinn Hughes. Too bad it's a jumbo, but what are you going to do? What are we going to do? I wouldn't. We got an Adam Lowry. Savetchnikov. Very cool. Look at the stack of inserts. And right after this, we are doing the mystery box that will probably have nothing in it, but you don't find them anymore. So it'll be a fun time to open. Jeff Carter, Vorchek, Killorn, Eric Stahl. Wow. This is. Uh, Lucky that Jack Hughes was in there. It's kind of a brutal... Hey, there's another... There's a nice one. Adam Fox. $10 or $15 young gun. Hence. So I'm glad that... I didn't... I should have went and bought the other two. Seems like the packs are pretty... Or these boxes are pretty stacked. Cockney and Miami. Toss that. Wow. All right. All right, let's see what we got. There's another one. Kevin Stenland. Stenland? Interrider Carlson. Last pack. Let's see if we get any. See if we get anything good in here. Horvat. Yeah. So, nothing much, sadly. That, uh, the Quinn Hughes is nice. Probably brings some money. Last box, and this is a mystery. Let's see if we can get make this break more than stellar. Where's our special item here? Take that out, set that right there. And our special card is... Yeah. Okay, we got a young gun. Probably the young guns, probably right now, probably those sleeves are probably worth more than, probably that top loader is worth more than that young gun. So we did get a hobby box, or a hobby pack, that's pretty cool. So we got Clark, bon, Bob Bond, Sittler, Red Kelly die cut, a decoy, and uh, Dave Reed. Wah, wah, wah. If I knew it was a hobby, I would have saved that to the last. But I just pick them. I just, whatever way you pick them out, that's what I mostly do. Oh, uh, cards are sticking. And I'm guessing that's Vertanen. I'm just going to throw my guess in the ring. All right. David Jones. Oh, no. It's Colton Pareko. I seen the white. I was like, oh, it's Jake Vertanen. But it's not. Next. Got another series. These packs are selling for like 16 bucks a piece. That's absolutely crazy. If you think about it. Oh, good chance of McDavid. We've got a Robbie Fabry, very miscut, top to bottom rookie. And Bernier. All right. Last pack, and it's 17 18 It's like 100 bucks a box now. It's crazy. But I pulled the Debrinkat Young Gun Canvas. Can we do something again and no we can't so that was pretty awesome not gonna lie got a lot of good stuff we got a robbie fabry pareko well, let's get to the stuff that's actually worth it here adam fox that's pretty nice we got a jack hughes that's one of the top rookies in the class we got a lot of parkhurst inserts and rookies 
and more stuff and some legends Wayne Gretzky and of course the Alexis Lafreniere that's a nice one I'll sleeve that up lot of Nick Robertson that's a decent one also hope you guys enjoyed this Walmart challenge and of course we got the two young guns up here but guys have a good day have a good night I will be doing a new video Thursday, but I am out. I will see you guys Thursday with a brand new video. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'm the card collector. You'll see me Thursday.